now who are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness. Rather, expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed where the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you. Seek 
that relationship with our God. The second Sunday reminded us of Christ and the Samaritan woman at the well where he thirsts for us. He wants us to come into relationship with him. Sometimes we're so distracted by the things of the world that we don't realize that. Sometimes it takes a, a pandemic to make us realize how we need our God, how we should thirst for him as he thirsts for us. In today's gospel, the man born blind gives us that, that journey of faith that we need to enter into. He, he first describes Jesus as a man, then he describes Jesus as a prophet, and then he recognizes him as his Lord and God and worships him. And that's where we find ourselves today. This Laetare Sunday, this joyful Sunday, always teaches us that in the middle of our sacrifices of Lent, we always have to remember the joy of the relationship we are invited into. We must always remember why we do the things we do. We cannot ever be distracted from that. And if it takes a pandemic to remind us, so be it. And we need to know and nothing in this world matters but our relationship with our Creator, with our God. And that's, that's what Lent teaches us, that we are made stronger sometimes by the challenges of our life, the difficulties that we face. And we do so joyfully because we know, as Christ tells us in the response to the Son, that He is our shepherd. Even if we walk through the dark valley, we know we are safe with Him, for He is there with His rod and His staff to guide us. It's a great consolation. We see some of the great mysteries of humanity as the world faces this latest challenge. We know we never would have imagined people fighting over toilet paper in the supermarket. Or, or mothers asking neighbors if they had a couple of cups of rice because the supermarket was out of rice and she wants to feed her children. We see positive things of of nurses who are retired going back to work, doctors who are retired going back to work, all those things that the challenges of the world bring forth in us remind us to always exercise our Christianity, especially when we are challenged by the world. For the challenges of today are nothing compared to the challenges past generations, and they have seen through them as we shall be seen through this. And that as we concentrate on the joyfulness of the season of Lent, as we realize that there will come an end to this challenge, there will come an end to these 40 days of Lent, we know that we exercise our Christianity, we become the people we are challenged to be, because of the joy we find being in relationship with our God. And it brings out the goodness in us. It brings out the virtues within us. It teaches us the things that are important. As we are challenged by the world today, we know that we have everything we need because the Good Shepherd is with us. Even in this dark valley, He is there with His rod and His staff to give us courage. And so we go forward knowing that all the things we need are before us. Our love of our God, our love of family and friends, our care for them and their care for us. As we continue through the journey of the season of Lent, changed as it is for all of us, we know that one day it will end and we will rejoice in the resurrection. We will know the light of God among us and how we must always make sure don't get distracted by the things of the world. Always remember who we are and what we need to do. Now let us place, now let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from God from true God, begotten, not made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
which will be given up for you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who enlightened everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your 